Now, if the bodies could stand up in the desert around here, you would think an, a, a zombie apocalypse was coming. It is that crazy. The California desert is a crazy ass. we have a Bitches. first video is about a California teen that goes partying and then vanishes. Parents are looking kind of sus here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm editing. I'm editing. Yes. I'm riding the struggle bus. My shoulder hurts so bad. I thought I'd get the vlog edited and uploading and then I'd get ready for the day. But it is like the weather's weird again and I'm just... My shoulder hurts so bad, but I'm sitting here with Frank. I'm with Frank. Yes, we're on the floor. Mm-hmm. In our hovel that we need to pick up. We need to get with it, Frank. I don't know. When I feel like crap like this, it just feels better to just go and try to push through and get ready. I'm just so, like, exhausted and my shoulder hurts and it's just... <laughs> Update time. Did my makeup, my hair. Yeah, let's see. Yes, just a normal hair day look. So, feel a lot better. I always feel better once I get my shit together. So, what do I want for lunch? Let's have a woman's lunch. Why do I keep calling this a woman's lunch? cuisine women's lunch this is a woman's lunch this is a woman's dinner <laughs> yeah there's not a lot still on YouTube there is a lot of people talking about the um, you know the guys that um froze to death in the backyard and how that lawyer is fucking shit up that those guys their attorney he keeps going on and fumbling and changing the story it's fucking crazy and then this morning in El Mirage, um, Southern California, there was a shooting out in the middle of the desert where like five or six people were killed. And they haven't said what's going on with that, but um, that happens a lot, actually. The California desert is a crazy ass place, guys. Um, my grandfather, owned an auto body shop when I was, well, before I was born, but you know, growing up, before he passed away. And the sheriff would come in and talk to him because he, they would, they would do the um, cars for the um, uh, police department down here. And the sheriff, or one of the police would come in and talk to him and tell him, yeah, you know, if the bodies could stand up in the desert around here, you would think an, a, a zombie apocalypse was coming. It is that crazy. That this, that's just kind of something people do out here. Is they they they'll take people to the desert and because there's no one around. Like I remember when I was in EMT, them finding people and. Ha having to go get people out in the desert and there was this one dude who had like flies all over his face and shit and it was just it was crazy it was like he's being eaten alive and it was like dude what were you doing out in the desert and usually they come up with this weird story because they're involved in some crap and they're just like oh i was just running through the desert and i tripped and the next thing i know you guys are pulling me up what how did you fall asleep with a bunch of fucking flies all over your face because it's like you're already dying. I did. So. <laughs> it's still raining outside. Blah. I'm not liking the rain. My mom told me that there's this, we're getting an atmospheric river. Isn't that what happens up in Oregon and Washington? Don't they have an atmospheric river? I don't want an atmosphere fear river down here my shoulders don't my back doesn't but hey at least with all the rain and stuff we should probably get a super bloom there'll be a lot of shit to do 
I want to eventually go out to Salvation Mountain and Bombay Beach because there's a lot of arty stuff over there. I think that would be fun to go to. I've never been to Salvation Mountain. Really don't go out that way. Um, but yeah, I mean, with spring coming, there's going to be a lot more shit going on down here. We have Coachella coming. I'm not for Coachella. I, like I said, it, it's just weird when you see people busting out ring lights in neighborhoods. This neighborhood's not a hotel. This isn't a resort. This isn't this isn't Disneyland, Coachella Land. This is people's homes and it's just gotten kind of irritating, which is interesting. Last I checked, there's still tickets for weekend one for sale. Remember guys when it was back in the day where you had to get on there right when the tickets went on sale and you didn't know who was playing. So you could get a t ticket for weekend one. Well, and then the and then the last couple of years it was like, oh, it's just businesses and companies and you know, like weekend one is the sponsored social media weekend and weekend two is where everybody goes to party, right? Uh, uh apparently not. Apparently a lot of, I don't know, but it just, I don't get it. There's still tickets for sale. Maybe it's a sign of the times. Maybe it's, you know, people are just not into that Coachella shit anymore. I know I'm not. I'm not into them coming down here and fucking up the traffic and shit. And none of the money ever goes back into the community. Did you guys know that? That the city down here, Indio... They do a lot of deals with Golden Voice, under the table deals, allegedly. So they don't pay a lot in like taxes and shit. And actually, they must have just gotten some new people over in like the city because up until a couple of years ago, they would go over, you know, their time limit and stuff. And that was before the pandemic. They would go over time limits all the time in the no noise arguments, and it wasn't a deal. It wasn't a big deal. But now it seems like it is. Like, last year was the first year I remember them getting fined for going over. So, I mean, I feel like there's some shit changing with the relationship down here with Coachella. Like, Coachella's not going to be the shit. Let's just say that. It, I think... Because there's so many other music festivals and Coachella's gotten so influencery and stuff, and people are just not into that influencer crap anymore. They're just not. I see lots. Of, I saw on the Snork Reddit someone was pissed because they 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 actually shouldn't. They should be proud of themselves on the Snork Reddit. Someone was talking about they just finished their first nursing shift, which congratulations. That's an that's an accomplishment, you know and. How they had a breakdown in the restroom because it was just overwhelming and a lot. Which, nursing's a hard gig. It, it's a hard gig. So, and how hard it was and how they don't get paid the same. Like, she was like, I wish I could have just gotten up and, uh, you know, put up a vlog and gotten paid what, like, Alicia Marie and Remy get paid to put up just a fucking vlog. And... I agree. I totally agree with that because it is bullshit. It is bullshit. And the fact that they complain about it, I think, is what is what's infuriating because Peter Mon makes money off of YouTube and stuff, and I don't I don't see a problem. I don't see a problem with him getting up and doing videos and stuff. It's just them. And it's because it's like they're always complaining about burnout, burnout. Burnout's bullshit. It's are you not happy with what you're doing? It's because you're editing yourself and trying to make yourself something that you're not. And I think if a lot of these people accepted themselves and didn't edit the crap out of them, they would be able to upload daily like I upload daily. You know, like, it's not that hard. Like, like the girl was saying in Reddit, it is privileged. Even though I don't make any money, and I'm just stuck at home because I'm disabled, and I've been trying to make shit work for over a decade, I still feel privileged. Like I said, I feel like I got thrown to the greener side, except my legs are broken, I'm in an extreme a lot of pain, 
everybody else is partying around me and then like this doctor's is at the party he's like it's okay take these pills party with us and I'm just like what I want my old life back I don't care if it wasn't green over there and the grass was dead that was what I was used to I planned for that life I I'm confused now and I'm in pain at least over there I wasn't in pain yeah so I'm gonna eat my woman's lunch woman's lunch yes woman's lunch I'll be in cuisine look at the steam coming off can you see the steam no you can't that's a bummer so yeah oh good I can pick up Frank's bed Frank's been sleeping on the floor here with this blanket I love this blanket we've had this blanket and now he's over there but yeah that's where I usually fall asleep with my art on the floor. I love it so much though. Yes. 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 in the evening Patrick's home yay guess so I said I had a woman's lunch having I, I don't know what, what is this uh, stoner's dinner <laughs> hummus which there wasn't a whole lot left in this container that's what I'm gonna tell myself <laughs> and those veggie straw things which I love these are the zesty ranch kind and Dutch Brothers I have a problem I know I have a problem Mm -hmm, mm hmm today I accept myself and my problem so I accept you too so I've been working on my picture and listening to music let me show you what we got I probably had a time I tried to do time lapse so hopefully I got that in here but yeah this is what we got let me toggle that off there yeah see that's what I got inking down the hair whoops 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 there we go, yeah. Focus. Ah, see. So just working on getting the lines and the hair just right. I got a ways to go though. I can see some areas like right here right now where I'm like, I, I want to fix that and bring that down more I think and yeah, whoa, whoa, but you can see where it's like, it takes some time, you know, because you, I spend a lot of time sometimes just like staring at it and being like, okay, this looks weird, how do I fix it? And then like, sometimes I even look at my own self in the mirror and I'm just like, oh, okay, I think I want the line more like this, you know, so... Yeah, and then and then a lot of times too, what's nice about doing the digital art is that you can play around with like a line in one area, sit there, look at it, and see if it 
feels right or not because one of the things I found is you know doing art over the time is that when something is right in a picture it just starts it just all melts together into one if it's not working something stands out to me and I'm like <sighs> it like hurts my brain or something you know visually so like I want to like I it usually you, you can tell when there's something there if you got that artist eye I guess I've heard people say but you know a lot of times if yeah if you fix it if the colors right if the the lines are right it just melts into the rest of the the sketch or the drawing and it just works so artist tip from me to you today is you know when something works it just melts together like that it just happens you know this kind of like with a lot of things in life you know if it just works it just melts together and happens you know so yeah mm. cheers guys if that was if there was a stable if somehow they could have a stable family between the three of them, i can't believe what i'm listening to right now guys um, holy fucking shit we gotta talk about this it's the next day yes it's the next day i haven't had coffee yet but you know what fuck it why don't we get coffee together while we talk about this <laughs> Okay, so yeah last night I worked on art. I worked on art Passed out here in the living room watched a movie a lifetime movie, which will be linked below. It's actually really good. It was about um, a Couple It's got domestic You know DV in it. So if you guys are um, You know triggered by that, you know but um, it was really good. It's like a murder mystery type deal type moment. So yeah. Um, so this morning I'm listening to Crying Lies and Lines. I listened to her. She's, I think she's really kind of funny. And um, where do I put you so you can still see me? Yeah. Okay. So um, she's really funny. And um, she's out. So, yeah, she's really funny. She was talking about the Slender Man girl. She wants to get out of prison. Or the psychiatric place she's in, one of them. One of them wants out. And I think she's in a psychiatric or something. And this guy, and they're ta they were talking about the case. Like, this is what Crime Lines and Lines does is uh, she... Um, Oh yeah, Patrick left his coffee for me. No shit, well shit, I'm just gonna have Patrick's coffee. That's right, he left his, it was a freeze, but it melted. It's called a picture perfect, he said I could have it. So I'm gonna add some more coffee to it because it's one of the sweeter drinks and I'm not into like super sweet coffee, I like the in between stuff. Still has calories, but not a ton to make you feel bad. See, this one's got all kinds of, like, chocolate in it and stuff. Really good. So, um, yeah, this guy calls into her show, right? Because they're, they're watching clips about Slender Man and whatnot and talking about should this girl be released or not. Dude calls in, right? Dude is someone who used to be a cop. He starts off with, I used to be a cop, and blah, blah, blah. And then after talking for a while, you can tell he gets a little more comfortable. Because he goes, well, you know, I'm into basically this guy. I don't know what happened with him being a cop or whatever. It sounded like something went wrong. I don't know. Maybe he got in trouble or something, but... Anyways, now he writes to murderers in prison so he can get drawings or letters like he probably is one of those people that likes to try and write to BTK or gets BTK's like girlfriends or whatever to uh, get shit from him out of prison and then sells it on. He says not eBay, but there's I guess other places where you can sell this murderabilia. What the fuck? Murderabilia? That is some shit, you guys. That is some shit. That is where I've been saying prison. Prison isn't always a, a punishment for some people. If you go into prison, it's infamous. It's just like moving on to the next chapter. 
I'm sorry, but like Chris Watts, BTK, there's a lot of them. They just moved on to the next chapter. Dahmer did that for a minute until one dude was like, nope, my God's a vengeful God. And he says, you're out. Which I low-key kind of respected. I'm kind of broken. You know that. So, um, <laughs> he's on there. This guy's been writing to Morgan, I think he said. And he was telling us how she's a delu uh, uh, schizophrenic and all this stuff. And she doesn't have family anymore. And he's been writing to her. But then she, he eventually comes out. She cut him off. And what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? So this guy goes on those pen pal sites for prisoners. And he writes them. I'm not making this shit up. What the hell? What is this shit? So, I don't know, guys. I thought that was some crazy ass crap. That, like, here we are discussing whether this bitch gets out. And he, here's the guy's like, well, I know her. I know her. Oh, we got memorabilia. You want to buy some? The fuck? I, you know what? It, it, I'm not surprised it's YouTube. It's, we're on YouTube. It would be worse if we were over on TikTok, apparently, which I can't seem to find those TikToks. I go over there and I get a bunch of self-help crap and women telling me, blah, 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 blah with some music in the back or whatever, you know, which... Some of those are fun. Some of those are fun. I like that too, but what? I'm confused. I'm really confused, but like I said, whoa, whoa, it's YouTube. So yeah, that note, I'm going to end this. You guys got a Lifetime movie below. John Stamos is in it too. That was weird. He plays a pastor who's accused of murder. Linked in my playlist. In my playlist with everything else I've been watching. As always, I love you guys. I hope you guys have fun doing whatever you're going to do until I see you in the next one. Love you guys. Stay safe.